EPRI is conducting research to examine the potential impact of an electromagnetic pulse on the electric transmission system. The research is providing critical data to the electricity sector, its stakeholders, and the public about EMP impacts, as well as methods and technologies to mitigate potential damage. An EMP event can result from the detonation of a nuclear device above Earth's atmosphere. Such an occurrence would propel electromagnetic energy toward the Earth's surface, generating an initial, short-duration, high-magnitude E1 pulse, followed by an intermediate E2 pulse, similar to the electromagnetic wave created by lightning, and an E3 late pulse, comparable to geomagnetic disturbances caused by solar flares. EPRI researchers are using advanced laboratory setups to simulate an E1 EMP pulse. At its large outdoor guided wave test facility in Charlotte, North Carolina, EPRI is able to generate and study the effects of an E1 EMP radiated wave on transmission system components. In Knoxville, Tennessee, EPRI built a compact direct injection test facility to simulate E1 EMP surges coupled on control and communication cables for electronic devices. Devices under test are powered up, then subjected to an EMP wave or surge. The Charlotte facility can produce a 50 kilovolts per meter pulse generated by a 13-stage MARX generator, which is then injected into a large antenna structure. In Knoxville, the equipment can produce direct pulses from 5 to 80 kilovolts, which are injected directly into the electronics under test. In April 2019, EPRI released a research report detailing its assessment approach, test results to date, and mitigation guidance. The next steps for EPRI's EMP research involve field implementation and evaluations of substation hardening and mitigation techniques, and assessing E1 EMP impacts on power generation facilities. Utilities interested in participating in these evaluations are encouraged to contact their EPRI representative.